Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, short lecture on MQTT protocol. In this short lecture, I will introduce you to one of the most common protocols used in IoT applications or for IoT devices. MQTT stands for Messaging Queue Telemetry Transport or MQ Telemetry Transport. It is a publish, subscribe, simple and lightweight messaging protocol. The design principles are to minimize network bandwidth and device resource requirements. These principles also turn out to make the protocol ideal for emerging machine to machine or device to device or Internet of Things world of connected device and also for mobile applications where bandwidth and battery power are highly important. MQTT was invented by Andy Stanford from IBM and Arlen Nipper from Eurotech in 1999. The latest version of MQTT is uh, V5.0. So how MQTT works? This shows a basic working principle for MQTT. As I mentioned earlier, it is a lightweight publish and subscribe system where you can publish and receive messages as a client. So you can send a command with a client like Node-RED or any other platform to control an output or you can send data from a sensor and publish it to a client like Node-RED or any other platform. MQTT in this case is useful because it's very lightweight and take minimum bandwidth thus ensure high, high latency. There are some basic concepts that are related to MQTT. For example, publish, subscribe or PubSub, that's the most common protocol or the MQTT is mostly known for. So the MQTT protocol is based on this principle of publishing messages and subscribing, subscribing to topics. This is known as PubSub where multiple clients connect to a broker and, and subscribe to topics that they are interested in. Clients can also connect to the broker and public messages to topics. So what is topics I will come after. Many clients can subscribe to the same topics and do with the information that they want or whatever they want. For example, in this case, device one publishes on a topic, device 2 is subscribed to the same topic as device 1 is publishing in, so device 2 is receiving the messages of that topic. So as we are talking about topic, what are the topics? So topics are another important concept in MQTT. Topics are the way you register your interest for incoming messages or how you specify where you want to publish the message. Topics are represented with strings separated by a forward slash and each forward slash indicates a topic level. In this case, for example, you have sensors, then you have the computer name from which you are reading the temperature of an hard drive. So here the sensors, the computer name, the topic and the hard drive name all are different level of topics and the forward slash is, is representing here the hierarchy. You can add or join multiple topics using uh, two wildcards or two operators, those are known wildcards in MQTT. One is the plus sign or hash symbol. Plus can be used as a wildcard for a single level of hierarchy, whereas hash or hashtag can be used as a wildcard for the remaining level of hierarchy. In most of the cases, we use plus wildcard. Then there is another concept in MQTT that is uh, the quality of service. So MQTT defines three levels of quality of service that is 0, 1 and 2. In case of 0, 
client or broker will deliver the message but you don't receive or send any confirmation in the level of one client or broker will deliver deliver a message and the confirmation will be required uh, or a, a notification that the message is delivered at the highest level of uh, quality of service or QoS the broker or client will deliver the message exactly once but there is a more thorough process so authenticating each other using a four-step handshake then we have the messages concept in MQTT so messages are the information that you want to exchange between your devices uh, it can be a command or it can be a data itself another important concept in MQTT is brokers so the broker is primarily responsible for receiving all messages filtering the messages decide who is interested in them and then publishing the message to all subscribed clients in this case for example uh, the broker works as a post office where multiple clients or devices are sending the message in this case uh, we can think messages as letters and then the broker as a post office send those messages or letters to uh, designated clients or devices a broker is a software running on a computer it can also a, a cloud can be a cloud application the uh, the broker works as a post office so the MQTT, MQTT does not use the address of the intended recipient but uses the subject line called topic and anyone who wants to copy off that message will subscribe, subscribe to that topic. Multiple clients can receive the, the message from a single broker that is one to many capability so we have one broker and multiple clients. Similarly it can be the opposite. So multi multiple publishers can publish topics to a single broker. Each client can both produce and receive data by both publishing and subscribing. So at the end, it, it's basically a many-to-many -many clients relationship or communication. With MQTT broker architecture, the devices and application become decoupled more and more secure. MQTT use some encryption because it has it might have some username or password uh, for the connection the broker can also store the data in the form of retained messages so whatever message it, it receives it is stored in the same way and it does it it does this so that new subscribers to the topic can get the latest value straight away broker also keeps track of all the session information as the devices go on and off and which is known as a persistent session there are uh, multiple brokers some of them are proprietary some of them are open source uh, there are also cloud brokers uh, one of the very common broker is mosquito which is an open source message broker that implements the MQTT protocol versions uh, 5.0, 3.1.1 and other previous versions like 3.1 and Mosquito is lightweight and is suitable for use on all devices from low power uh, single board computers to full servers there are also the, the cloud MQTT that is also highly used uh, for uh, for the IoT applications or devices because this is hosted on the cloud. I also list some public brokers uh, that you can uh, visit from this link. There are some uh, design principles for MQTT. As I mentioned earlier, the MQTT is uh, lightweight, so it must be simple. And since it is lightweight, it takes, uh, it does not take much bandwidth in the network and networks that has small data rate or a large range like LoRa is uh, more suitable uh, for uh, MQTT protocols. 
when you are using the MQTT uh, for sending or receiving data or or for subscribing to the to a topic usually they always use a, a, a URI and URI is a identification for a topic or for a device in, in this case uh, we are sending uh, data from a client device to another device or to a broker so all the messages have this uh, unique or common format which includes obviously the MQTT uh, as a as a schema and it can be for example also HTTP for other protocols but as I mentioned MQTT is lightweight than HTTP which is obviously uh, far better for uh, IoT applications. So this scheme, schema part or scheme part defines the protocol to use to communicate with the server. Uh, it can be MQTT, it can be also MQTTS uh, which is more secured uh, for, uh, for communication with the server and then it can also include the username and password uh, it should also uh, so username and username and password could be optional but then it also have host and the domain but this is um, the mandatory part of uh, this uri scheme then we also have the port number usually the default port number is 1833 for mqtt but if you are using MQTTS, then it's uh, 8883. There are some more online resources on MQTT. Uh, if you visit uh, this link uh, from GitHub, they have some cool materials uh, that you can play with uh, from text examples to uh, large scale examples where uh, how and where we should apply mqtt or how we can apply and use mqtt in the context of iot but the official website for mqtt is mqtt.org where they have a bunch of libraries and softwares that you can use uh, for using this uh, protocol i hope i could best give some um, basic idea on mqtt thank you